Hello everyone, I'm Tristan44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Avernum 2. Last episode we took a look around the northern parts of the Great Cave here and we looked through Fort Emerald a bit. Now I think we can move on into Nass. So let's take a look, see how the Sliths are doing. Take a look around the outside first, as usual. Can't get around there. And they have open doors, so we kind of have to... Oh, that guy has... Let's speak with him. This mighty Slith paces the town, keeping a watchful eye on everything. He's huge, and he keeps a mighty steel spear handy at all times. He looks you over. Welcome to my village, adventurers. I am Tarthis. What is your role here in Nass? I am chief here. I take the responsibility for these people. What role does the Slith chief p play? We Sliths have chiefs who tell the people what to do. Then they decide whether to do or not to do it. Much like what you humans have. So he acts similar to the mayor. Okay. How do your people fare? The Empire wishes to slay us. The Evernites wish to fight with us. And my tribe has their own wishes. What has the Empire done? They kill us by the hundreds. Many, many of us come here for help and to fight, and we do our best. How is your relationship with the Avernites? Once we fought you, now, are we be now we are becoming fast friends, united in hating the Empire. It is a strange world indeed. What do your people wish for? Our priest wishes to recover a holy charm our people brought with us when we fled our ancestral home. He is Pathas. You should ask him of it. Where was your ancestral home? We Sliths came to these caves many years ago. We were thrown from our people, our home nation, now lost to us forever, because our clan was too violent. Now some of us are not that way any more, but we are banished forever from our home. We know not how to go there, even if that is what we are trying. Th Toth this says, What else do you want to know, strangers? He seems skeptical of you. He must have a deep distrust of strangers. Do you get many visitors here? No, though it is good to see a visitor Slith. It is good to see Sliths wandering the land, making things better for our home. How do you feel about the humans? I share the feeling with you. I will work with them. I respect them. But there is no affection between us and may never be. The anger over the recent war between them and us runs deep. I can imagine... For a people unaccustomed to building things, the Sliths have done a good job here. This solid stone structure holds as good a forge as you've seen in Avernum. It takes a smith of great skill to create one of the powerful Sliths of Arakai two times spears. Which I'm guessing this Slith is. A massive Slith emerges from the smoky haze that fills this long, low building. Huge muscles ripple under his leathery skin and huge hammers hang from his belt. He nods when you approach, evaluating your weapons with a quick look. I am Oro. What are you working on? He grabs a newly made steel two-time spear from the wall and holds it out for your inspection. I forge weapons to fight the Empire. Impressive weapon. He gives you a toothy grin and twirls the heavy spear effortlessly. Yes, the traditional spears of the Sliths. The weapons we have used since time's lost. He shows you the beautiful weapon reverently. In the name of peace, we have been letting some humans spy our weapons. Just ask. If anyone is to be using one of your spears, it would be one of your own kind in our party. You fight the Empire? His face ex is expressionless, but his eyes glint with fire. I make my weapons to slay those of the Empire. They have no other purpose. How else may I help you, travelers? I am always willing to sell my work to adventurers. His voice is deep and clear, and he has a good grasp of the human tongue. Alright, we have things we can sell. We already have a fine slith spear, though. Yes, we could use a coin. Why not? Aw, oh, we're out of the better lockpicks? Aw, oh, that sucks. A pity. Slith warriors are best known for their spears. They are large metal and two razor-sharp tines. They are powerful and dangerous weapons. As we have seen, we will keep it in mind. Just a random Slith warrior. This low-ceiling dome contains the village's greatest treasure, 
The pool is in which the sleuth eggs hatch and in, and in which the sleuth children grow until they gain the ability to breathe out of water. All the tiny sleuths watch you with fascination. Hmm. This small, delicately featured sleuth woman watches you very nervously. I am F. F. She is careful not to get too close to you. Don't be afraid. We mean no harm. Just because a slith comes to visit me does not make my distrust less. Many sliths are evil and bent. I never lose alertness in guarding my brood. What work do you do here in Ness? She thinks it over and then decides to tell you. I am a broodkeeper, strangers. I look over our younglings. What does a broodkeeper do exactly? She thinks protectively... She looks protectively towards the young playing in the pools. Then she gives you a look as if to say that if you want to do anything to them, you'll have to kill her first. I guide our children. How do you guide them? Our people are being killed by the humans. Our children are our only true hope for revenge. I teach them of the Empire and what they must know to fight our people. If you say so. This slender stone bridge leads to an island out on the lake. You can see a large white statue on it. From here, you see the white statue is the centerpiece of a small open-air shrine. There is a shallow depression in the cave floor. At the bottom is a tile basin lined with paving stones and filled with several inches of crystal clear water. I think we will leave it for now. I mean, it may be part of some ritual. This is the holy shrine of the settlement of Nass. It is dominated by a huge white marble statue of a slith female towering above you with open arms. The statue radiates an aura of tranquility. Pray at the altar. You offer a brief homage to the god of the slips. After a short time, you start to feel very uncomfortable. You back away. You'd think Rex, at least, would not feel uncomfortable about this. I mean, he's a slith. He should be used to it. A slith with a large carved staff is keeping an eye on the mushroom fields. She doesn't do very well at it, though. She seems lost in thought. I am Athos. Welcome. You seem dist distracted. Well, normally I am a mage and stone shaper, but instead I am forced to watch the fields. Is magic important to sliths? Our sliths guard our magical secrets closely. They have sacred value to us. What does a stone shaper do? I mold stone into statues. These stone forms of our ancestors are our way of paying homage to them. Our statues have greatest value to us. Why are you watching the fields? The servants need watching and guarding, and their master is off fighting the Empire. Guarding the servants? Why? Aren't they free to leave? Alas, many sliths reach adulthood without intelligence. These are used as servants for growing food and simple jobs, with us looking after and helping them. That is what I am doing now. As you say. Uh, more sliths around here as kind of makes sense. Alright, looking around. Let's take a look up here. Ah! This is a big place. You meet a tall, dignified slith. She bows in greeting. You greet her. She speaks in a deep, sibilant voice. I am a Sotho of the Slith Zerakai. Welcome to Nass. She bears a large, two-time spear. Are you busy? We wish to speak with you. She slowly shakes her head. I have been looking after and aiding the refugees that have been fleeing here. Refugees from where? The Empire is moving from Slith Village to Slith Village, killing all of our people they find. A few of them, the lucky ones, make their way here. The rest end up in mass graves. That sounds horrendous. Yes, as hard as you humans find it to believe, the Empire is killing all of us, every last one. One day we will be able to prove it to you. Although we hope it happens before we all are all gone. What if we could find that evidence for you? That would help me argue for justice and help for the Slith peoples. I would wish you to tell me of a place where the Sliths were massacred. Where should we look? Most of the Slith villages were northeast of here. Look for a sign of a Slith village destroyed by the Empire. I could then spread the word of the massacre and people would know what the Empire does to us. We will keep it aware. What do you do with the refugees? Here we can arm them and help them fight. They will at least have the luck of dying fighting for their freedom rather than ending up in the ground. We'll keep our eyes open. 
There is a grievously wounded Slith lying back on this bed. Its tail has been lost, and dirty bandages cover its body. It stares up at you through a haze of pain. I am Larragath. Who did this to you? Empire troops slew my village. I fled. He pauses to regain his strength and continues. I fled here. I rest so I can fight. Why do you want to fight? His eyes light up in fury. They killed my mate and my brood. His voice starts to rise despite the pain speaking it is causing him. One day I will arise, and I will take up my spear, and I will have revenge. Revenge is sweet, but it will not replace your lost family. He sinks down to the bed. It is all I have to live for. One day. One day. He closes his eyes and returns his head away from you, lost in pain. A pity. This stone dome is filled with deep pools, each teeming with scads of small fish. The slips have constructed a hatchery here so that they can always have a supply mm -hmm. of their favorite sorts of fish. Hmm. I can approve of that. Only a couple buildings left here. This one is probably for the uh, chief. My guess, anyway. And this? Hmm. You meet an ancient slith, green scales faded. He is sitting at this table, weary and half slumped over. He nods solemnly to you. I am Pathos. You notice that he is wearing a holy charm, a symbol of a slith priest. May I ask what occupation you hold? I am the priest for this village. It is a great labor. I didn't realize that sliths had priests. Yes, we sliths are a religious people. Why is it such a labor? We worship our gods, kind gods, as best we can. Many of our brethren in these caves worship dark gods of war and blood. We do not. It saddens us, for they possess our holy charm. Your holy charm was stolen? Our people in these caves are of a holy artifact. It was an amber charm of a lizard, ancient and very valuable to us. We are sure some of your, our people in these caves have it. Return it and we will reward you. There is a ritual I can give to help you. Can you teach me the ritual I need to find the charm? He mutters a brief chant, then repeats it several times. When you find a place where the charm may be hidden, mutter this chant and it will hum in response to you. The charm is the only chanting stone in these caves. What is a chanting stone? A wondrous item. It takes our chants into itself and echoes them back to us. It purifies and strengthens our prayers. Any guess where the slips and the charm with the charm might be? Very few of the evil slips of Sis this, the dead once leader of the evil slips, remain. If you find a nest of them, search it well. There it may be. I think I know where it could be. It could be in that uh, in the cult th area that we were at before. You are a priest. Can you heal us? No, my powers are limited, sadly. I save them for my own peoples. You are a priest. Can you teach us magic? <sighs> I am old and tired, but I will teach all sliths who come to this village. To see a slith fighting for the good of all against the em Empire makes me glad. For this I will teach you. We would be honored to learn from you. Very nice. For very cheap. You know what? Grab these. And Sanctuary 2. We'll gladly take them. Thank you very much. Now, I think I know where it could be. We just need to head back to, the, to that uh, cult. If you remember. The Serpent Cult. Back to the east by the uh, by the Tower of Magi. Bit of a run, but right now it's the most likely place we could find this chanting stone. Somewhere in there. Probably down beneath. Could be anywhere, though. I'll have to investigate the entire place. Normally, the toll to cross the bridge across this river is five coins. Fortunately, the guard on duty recognizes you. He opens the gate for you immediately. News of your deeds must have spread. Excellent! Thank you very much. We are now famous enough. I like that. <laughs> no more do we have to pay a toll. It's good to be famous. Granted, it's also good to be the king, but, well, we're not the king. 
Yes, yes, shush. Alright, around this way, upwards. Alright. And with everything dead, it's gonna be easy to look around this place. Could be anywhere. Did we really never... Oh! I forgot there were snakes down here. Oh well, we can kill them easily enough. See? Easily enough. Hmm, I wonder. Oh well. Keep looking around. Not over there. We're not gonna jump down there again. That's for certain. If we're gonna go down, it's gonna be the normal... Can we even go up go back up? It's barred. What did that lever do, I wonder? Actually, I wonder. Could it be past these things? Let's find out. Alright, this is gonna be a bit tricky, but let's see what we can do. A lot of trash has been thrown into this cavern, forming an even deeper and filthier morass the farther north you look. It is disgusting. Okay, the good news is they're not co covering me with acid. So that's the good news. Slow them a bit. That's one, that one's dead. Heal up Rex a bit more. Okay, at least we're killing these things now. There we go. Alright, so, could it be back here? Let's find out. Unless there's a secret passage up here. Which I think... Ah, there is! Ah. Curly up, he's... Hmm. There's nothing back here. What is the point of this? Okay, cure the two... Actually, no, you can do, uh... Mass curing. Strange. Is there one over here? No, there is not. We're gonna have to gum we're gonna have to jump down. So we can explore elsewhere. Oh, we can't get back up back there. Wait a second, I just realized. Wasn't there a guy back here? There was. We slain the chief and it's safe for you to escape. He stands and removes a rusty short sword from a hiding place, then he bask you. If we meet again, I owe you a lot. I will tell all I find of what you have done for me. Fight on for Avernum. Good luck to you. He runs from his cell. Can't believe I forgot all about that. If only we could get through there. It's got to be something. Okay. Okay, it's not over here, I know that much. Okay, that opened this gate. No, can't go through there. Can this e is there anything in there? There is not. Ow! I did not realize this was here, but it can't be in there. The thing must be here. Somewhere. Okay, we already learned everything from that, so it's not there. Not here. That opens the gate. And 
what the hell is this lever for? There must be something, but I don't understand. And what is the point of this hidden passage? What? It has to be back here. Where else should it possibly be? I guess it's not back here? Correct me if I'm wrong. But I thought it had to be back there. It only made sense. I don't get it. I really don't. It had to be back there. Hmm. Alright, fine. I guess it's not back there. That we're not going to get through. Not for a while. Uh, we don't really have time to go through Blost right now. It's a big city, and we don't have the time for it. Hmm. You know, I wonder if there's any other possible secret passages up here. Eh, probably not. You know what, I'll be honest, I'm going to give one more try. One more try! To, the, to those things in the Tower of Magi. One more try. Maybe we can? I mean, I really want to be able to do this. Yes, yes, I know. Alright. Alright, let's see here. Pair up. Summon aid. Summon aid. That is a lot of aid. Beast ceremony. Haste. 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 Rex, can you actually drink any potions? You know what? Drink the strength potion. And combat. Mm. Oh, right. Forgot about that guy. Well, I guess you're going to have to use that. So he's not asleep. And you... Slow on... As long as we don't get slowed. And all these minions should help out a lot. Yeah, a lot. And we are slowed. Of course that happened. Oh. Oh, that Mung Demon is taking damage. So there's that at least. Okay, what are you doing? That on Gary. And you... Haste Rex. He needs to stay hasted at least. Okay, that's taking out of all the... Taking out all the imps easily enough. The Mung Demon is almost dead. And he's summoning help. Alright, uh... Haste Gary. That kills that guy. You... You know what? Take care of those. Yeah, you got no help. Okay, we can do this this time. This is going a lot better now. A lot better. Still bad! Oh, come on! We actually almost did it! Okay, you know what? Fine, fine. Oh, bloody hell. Fine, you know what? We'll go through it, we'll get him redirected. 
How about that? We'll get him resurrected. That should help. Oh, actually, we can return return life if we actually have. Don't we actually need a bomb of life now that I think about it, though? Okay, that demon's dead. Okay, once again. Okay, that demon's almost dead. I think we can do this. Uh oh. Ah, uh, crap. Okay, wand of lightning. Uh oh. Mass healing. Stay alive. Okay. That guy's dead. Okay. Okay, I think we I think we're fine. Well, except for that demon. Kill that one and we'll be fine. Just need to get to it. But it should not be hard. There we go. Okay. Fine. Good. Now, can you return life to Gary? Need ball of need bomb of life, of course. Okay. Fortunately, though, I think we go down here think we can bring him back to life from the priest out here. Yes, you. You can return life to us. Can you? Yes, Ray's dead. Cost a lot of coin, but we got it. You know what? I'll bloody take it. I will bloody take it. Let's pick everything up for him, and then we can actually investigate the portal, see how it works. Don't think we're going to take it anywhere, but we'll investigate it anyway. Alright. Gary, pick up everything. That, 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 that. Okay, he's got everything. He's good. We're good. No, we're not jumping off a ledge. You stand before the Tower of Magi Teleporter. The energy makes your hair stand on end. A mechanical, magical voice says, Call out your coordinates and enter. Well, we know Elpit Esk, Ain F. Wix, and Cav I 8 Bon. No idea where they go. Guess we'll find out soon enough. Okay, there was a place that we could rest in order to heal up, I think. Where? Uh, was it back over in the west? I think it was. Actually, maybe we should tell them that we took care of those demons. No, we can't. Well, you wiped out the first bunch of demons, and thank you very much, but there will be more, and someday all the wards won't hold them in. Okay. Yeah, we take care of those demons. Okay, let's let's see. We need to find a place to rest. It was all the way around this way, if I remember right. Rest for a few hours. There we go. Okay. Well, that's taken care of. Even though we haven't gone completely through the, uh, place I wanted to go through, I think we can at least try and find that one guy who we were told to ask about. What was it? We were... Yeah, that one guy, he left a message. We were supposed to get help from him. Which one was it? Elpit esque for Pern. Yes. Now, which quest was it?
Who are we looking for for that? I forget what we're trying to find out from that. Oh! I didn't realize there was a quest! You know what? I'm going to run back to Fort Emerald just so I can get that quest done before I forget about it again. I got just a couple minutes in order to do that. I'll cut it while I run back to... Uh, yeah, I'll cut it while I run back to... Uh, to there. Alright, let's see. I want to speak to him. Try to heal Brian. You summon up your powers and attempt to heal Brian. However, your magic isn't quite enough to do it. It's as if he's been afflicted with some sort of magical disease, making things worse. I have an idea. Ugh. Ah, come on! Ugh. Oh, come on! Ugh. Come on! Ugh. Really? Please tell me that's not using up all our gray mold. We just used up all our gray mold, didn't we? God damn it! <sighs> Let me see about reloading. Oh god, if I do, I'm gonna have to fight that those things again. <sighs> damn it! Great. Just great. And I, we lucked out there. I don't think we'd be able to, god damn it. Well, I need to hold on and keep my eye open for more bloody gray mold. Friggin' hell. That was a waste. And I don't know where to find more gray mold. Okay, well. Yeah, they, we can't, we don't have anything to sell to you. Alright, fine. Hopefully we'll find more gray mold sometime soon. Before I forget about that guy. Okay, fine. Next episode, we'll try the El Pit S. See what we can find out from that. And what we can get from that guy. That we were told to see, and I honestly don't remember why. Oh well. But that'll be in the next episode. So, until then... I am Chester44, that is Rex, Gary, Talia, and Leah. This is... No, oh, actually, let me think. Oh my god, go away. Maybe one of these merchants has it? I seriously doubt it. No, he has potions. She has recipes. No, they wouldn't have it. Okay, great. There's a 50% chance every time. How could we fail for so many times in a row? Fine. Next episode, we'll take a look at El Pist S to see what that does. Till then, I'm Trusting44, that is Rex, Gary, Tali, and Leah. This has been an Avernum 2 Let's Play, and I shall see you all next time.